Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss if Su-57 fighter can detect and track the F-35 fighter. The Russian Sukhoi Su-57 Felon and the American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II belong to the fifth generation of stealth fighters. They possess dissimilar qualities and deficiencies. As the Su-57's ability to detect an F-35 is contingent on several variables, it is challenging to provide a definitive answer. The following is an explanation of the fundamental elements. The F-35 is hard for radar systems to find and track because its radar cross-section, or RCS, is very small. That being said, this hidden power is limited. Different types of radars work at different frequency bands. The F-35 is designed to be as stealthy as possible when it comes to certain radar bands, especially the X-band. At frequencies higher than the Ka-band, it loses some of its stealthiness. Secondly, because the F-35 is designed to be stealthy from the front, its RCS is lowest when looking at it from the front. Its RCS can be a lot higher when seen from the side or back. Thirdly, the F-35's radar signal can get stronger when it rains, snows, or other things fly through the air. Now let's look at Su-57 detection capabilities. The Su-57 has a multi-sensor set called the N-036 radar that works in both X and L bands. This could help it track the F-35 from certain angles and at longer ranges. But it's not clear how well it works at all angles and frequencies against a low RCS, target like the F-35. The passive sensor called Infrared Search and Track or the IRST can pick up on heat signatures, which could show that the F-35 is not hiding. But its range and how well it works depend on the temperature and weather conditions where it is used. Lastly, the Su-57 uses electronic warfare systems to mess up enemy radars and comms, which could make it harder for the F-35 to do its job. So, what are the conditions Su-57 can detect an F-35? The first one is at longer ranges. When the F-35 is not in its best stealth cone, that is it is not facing directly ahead of it or when bad weather makes it less stealthy. The second condition is using specialized sensors. The Su-57's X-band radar might have trouble picking up the F-35, but its L-band radar or IRST might be able to in some situations. The third condition is that it can be done through electronic warfare. The Su-57's electronic warfare systems could briefly stop the F-35 sensors and communication from working, making it easier to find and follow. But it's important to keep these things in mind. Detection is not the same as tracking and identification. Some radars might not be able to tell the difference between an F-35 and other objects just by seeing a blip on the screen. This point we will take up a bit later. Another point is that the F-35 also has its own electronic warfare and countermeasure systems, which makes it hard for the Su-57 to stay locked on for long amounts of time. Also, the battlefield is complex. It means that terrain, support infrastructure, and the general tactical situation will have a big impact on how any fight between these two jets turns out. Now, let's talk about tracking. It's not easy for a Su-57 to track an F-35 because the F-35 is intended to be a ghost in the sky. The Su-57 can get past these problems, though, in some situations, and get a lock on its agile enemy. Here are the conditions favoring Su-57 tracking an F-35. The first condition is off-angle approach. From the front, the F-35 is the most stealthy. When it is approached from the side or back, its RCS can rise a lot, which makes it easier for the Su-57's radar and IRST to find. The second part is related to the environmental factors. Radar waves can be reflected more easily by rain, snow, or other particles in the air. This could make the F-35's radar signature bigger, which would make it easier for the Su-57 to follow. Last is the electronic warfare advantage. There is a chance that the Su-57 could briefly blind the F-35 by blocking its radar or communication systems. This would make it easier to track and hit. What do the Russian media say about the issue? As per the Russian media, true, the resolution in this case is not sufficient to launch a missile at the target. However, this will allow the pilot not only to prepare for the encounter with the enemy but also to transmit information about the enemy aircraft's location to the ground or to other aircraft in the squadron operating in the sky. Do you think Su-57 can detect and track an F-35? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.